Okay, I've been married twice. So is it is it, am I marriage material still or no? Like from just like looking at me, or is I'm considered like wow, off the chain, loose, or I'm just I'm just curious. How like, old are you, lady? How old are you? Thirty-seven. All right, good. What do you have for me this morning or this afternoon? Um, I wanted to, you said you was talking about a topic dealing with like, um, how do you know if you've been with a high value man? So I'm not for sure if I ever been with a high value man. I just wanted to then see. Then you probably haven't. Then you haven't. Mm -hmm. Even if I dated like NFL players, I haven't. Like, no. so what? Oh, okay. So what is the definition? of a high value man you dated in it wait hold on a minute you dated nfl players mm -hmm. here's the thing there's a thing with y'all when y'all say stuff like that okay not dated you were dealing with one okay and he may have been screwing you but that was it okay correct correct so what's because the difference even the nfl player or nba player they will still mess with easy cooter cat that doesn't change a man okay a rich man, a filthy rich man will mess with some easy cooter cat. Okay. When I say, can you attract a high value man? I'm talking about, do you know what attraction means? No. Can you break it down? Can you explain it to me? Because I just want to understand from my I'm speaking of the, the, the desire of the man to want to be with you. The desire of the man to want to pursue you. Mm. Not okay. get, not your cooter cat. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So the question, I guess, no. It was just okay. Yes, that that means it's a no. Uh, so it was just spicy time. That's it. It was just spicy. That was it because that's all he saw you as. Mm, mm -hmm. Even if he took me out on dates, even if he, if I met, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what. Listen. So okay, let me ask you this question. Okay. Do you know the difference between it? See, because I know a lot of y'all don't. I, I, let me slow down a little because y'all need to be taught. And I have to remember sometimes a lot of y'all have never been taught. Okay. So that's what I'm here for. I'm trying to teach y'all, right? I'm like big brother guru or daddy guru for some of the younger joints that call me dad, like a daddy. You have to understand the difference between a man that is just interested in you for that mm -hmm. and, or a man that's interested in you for much more mm. than that. Do you know the difference? Were you ever taught the difference? Mm -mm, no, absolutely not. Mm -mm. Okay, so there, here lies the problem. Did you have a father in your life? He came back into my life. No, he came back into my life like 30 years later. Okay, yeah, that's a huge problem. That's why, because your mama, mother's they they're not able to teach y'all this because they don't really know they don't understand how men work men we know how men work y'all don't this is why a father is crucial a really good father this is why it's crucial for y'all to mate with good men so that they can teach the next generation right right correct you can say hey let me sit down with you daughter honey baby girl and teach you about how men work mm. okay a man that's interested in you for more than that first of all he's going to want to know your intention from the beginning right and he's going to let you know his intention from the beginning from the jump we know what wife material women are look like right when I mean, it don't take us long when we come across women that are very soft sweet feminine nurturing right when we see these type of women and they are not all up in a man's uh, different men's faces and all this stuff. They're minding their own business, keeping themselves. If a man, if he knows he's going to, first of all, he's going to approach her in a different way <clears throat> than he would approach a woman that he thinks looks loose. Yeah. <clears throat> he's also going to recognize by the way she speaks her, her speech pattern. I mean, there's so many signs. It's her behavior, the way she carries herself and her speech pattern, all of these things. And he's going to put it together in his mind and say, this is somebody that's a keeper. Mm. Mm. Okay. And then that's up to you as the woman to let your intentions be known from the jump. <clears throat> Y'all most of the time are not marriage material because you don't require marriage. <clears throat> you don't offer nothing that's marriage material either. Like so a marriage material woman can offer marriage. Okay, so 
It's just like a hot. Let's think about this for a minute. A high value job <clears throat> mm -hmm. has a lot to offer. They got all things. We got high pay, great benefits. But all right. They got all of this stuff, right? Yeah. That makes the job attractive. That makes it very valuable. That makes where a lot of people want to work there. You don't have a mile of people lining up to work at a fast food restaurant that's, you know, smoking Joe's fast food or whatever, mm. because all they can do is offer you is a, a short term job. That's all they're offering. So do I look like marriage? Short term job is easy to get. Short term dick is easy. Mm. Short term cooter cat is easy. That's why you're short term for a man. It's easy to get you easy to get is short term cooter cat. Okay, I've been married twice. So is it is it, am I marriage material still or no? Like from just like looking at me or is I'm considered like wow off the chain loose or I'm just I'm just curious. How like, old are you lady? How old are you? 37. When's the last time you were married? Uh, like three years ago, like three. How long did that last? Like two, three years. How long were you married your first marriage? Uh, we were together for like five years. How long were you actually married though? Uh, five years in total. After like six months later, because I was pregnant. Okay, why do you think your marriages are not working? Um, I think sometimes maybe I'm just maybe picking the wrong person. Maybe I'm just desperate for love. Maybe I'm not like doing my thorough investigation. How much do you weigh right now? 170. Because I'm bigger at the bottom, you know, well, I'm a little thick. One of the main ways a woman is able to attract a higher quality man is physically. That starts with physical men. We're visual. You understand why men are visual? Do you even understand that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Um, I learned that like maybe like two weeks ago that men are visual. Like they see what they want. Like, you know, it's, it's just a visual thing. No, you don't know what you're talking about. No. It's not why men are visual. Men are visual because that's what keeps the population going. Mm, okay. We need to be able to get up for the woman so that we can make babies with her. Mm. That's why we're visual. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's and if the woman is a really good woman, meaning she has good manners, she don't have a mouth on her, she knows how to submit, all of these things, right? And she's very good looking with her eyes. That man is not going nowhere. What I recommend for you is you need to go and start doing some one on one sessions with me. You should go to just go to the link in my bio okay. and schedule because that's what you need. Because okay. I don't have time to break down everything to you today. There's too much, way too many things to break down for you and, okay. to, and to dissect about your life, your past, your history. What's going on? Let me tell you right now, one of the biggest things for you is your weight already. Mm -hmm. And you probably, the fact that you didn't went through two husbands already, I don't know, it could be that you just don't know how to surround yourself and pick the right man, or it could be something with you. You could have a, a mouth on you. You could have other issues that, I mean, I don't know. I have to dissect you. And right, I, don't, I, mind. I, wouldn't I don't mind. have the time today because that takes me about an hour. I don't have the time, so you can go book, and then I will figure you out. Okay, thank you. Well, have a good morning. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.